Oh, and so far this spring, we've really not uh, had our first severe weather just yet. But uh, spring, of course, no stranger to nor tornadic activity. In fact, today is a historic date in Central Illinois weather history. 80 years ago, a deadly tornado passed through. Here's the science behind the storm that left South Pekin in shambles. South Pekin. It looks a lot different in 2018 than it did on this date in 1938. That afternoon, the village was partially flattened by a deadly tornado. The damage was so extensive, one newspaper article cited only a handful of houses escaping harm, prompting the Red Cross to help with recovery, as seen in this video. Things were quite different back then because uh, weather forecasting was really kind of in its infancy, especially when it came to tornadoes and predicting whether or not uh, tornadoes might occur or where they would occur. The first tornado forecast wouldn't be successful for another 10 years. The watch and warning system was still non-existent. And as far as television, it wasn't really a thing yet. When it comes to radio, they were actually prohibited from using the word tornado on the air for fear that it might cause panic. They literally were unwarned, pretty much relied on one town calling ahead to the next town that the, the if they could that the storm was approaching today there's still a lot we don't know about the destructive tornado meteorologists speculate the central illinois event was actually a family of tornadoes spawned by what we call a supercell that's because so many communities were impacted over such a long track now the cell's destruction started near quincy and as the tornadic activity tracked to the north and east lives were lost homes and farms were destroyed but the worst of the damage occurred in south pekin there you see some of the rail cars that were overturned unfortunately there were nine fatalities within the village of south pekin and those winds were easily estimated well over 150 miles an hour the tornado then tracked through the rest of taswell county where a couple of more fatalities occurred before dis as it got into Woodford County near Eureka. Today, a common meteorological myth is that tornadoes can't strike the same place twice. There. South Pekin proves that wrong, having experienced multiple tornadoes, two in just the last 25 years. May of 1995, uh, and then eight years later, the same area of town uh, got hit again on, on May 10th. Uh, we've had areas uh, outside of Roanoke and, and, and Eureka that uh, tornadoes have uh, have affected the, the same farmstead or, or, or the same property two, three, four times. Again, that tornado went from the Quincy area all the way into Woodford County and killed a total of 13 people, leaving 73 more injured. It also caused millions of dollars in damages. 25 News at 5. We'll be right back.